What is going on YouTube, it's your boy Sam from Team Sam Rex one here and today guys I'm coming at you with another YGO Pro dual commentary so hopefully you guys enjoyed As you guys can read by the title guys, one card equals five card hand loop Trishula is at three! Synchro decks are back on the map, but not only that Synchro decks can loop your hand for five. If that's not scary, I don't know what the heck is. As you guys can see by the background of my video, I am still not home. I'm still in Los Angeles, California, but that doesn't mean that I can't make videos for you guys. I'm trying my best to provide you guys with the most updated content and the most entertaining content for you guys to see, especially when the new balance drops. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you're here on the channel for the very first time, welcome to the channel. Consider on hitting the subscribe button and make sure you guys turn the notification bell. And if you guys wanna see more dual videos like this, especially when I'm on vacation, Make sure you guys go down there right now and smash that thumbs up button. It'll be absolutely amazing. The amount of support that I've been getting lately from you guys is just absolutely unreal. You guys are real ones, bro. I love you guys so much. You guys are MVPs. All right, guys, enough talking. No further ado, let's hop right onto YGO Pro to see on what you can do with three Trish coming off the ban list. Let's demonstrate you guys the new five card hand loop since Trishula is finally now at three. Without further ado, let's begin. Okay, we always go paper because you guys all know paper gang. What can I say? What can I say? All right, guys, we're gonna go first. Let's see our opening hand. All right, guys, so our first opening hand, this hand is so, so good. You guys are gonna understand how good this hand is. The way that this deck works, as long as you get access to two warrior monsters on the field, and I also have Call by the Graven hand, which is really good, so that way that, just in case if he has a hand trap, we got him with the spice, you know what I mean? So we're gonna normal summon Vision Hero Violent. Vision Hero Violent is also one card combo. Yeah, so we're gonna send Malicious to the graveyard, activate its ability to special Malicious directly from the deck. So now we have two warrior monsters on the field. Once you have two warrior monsters on the field, it is essentially game over. You win the duel. Azold is the facilitator of all combos, and she is so bay. And we're not gonna use Azold's effect just in case he has a hand trap or things like that. It's not really smart to activate Azold's ability right now. I'm gonna send Divine Sword and also let's say let's send Moon Mirror Show to the graveyard, the two worst ones. We're gonna special summon Hero Kid directly from the deck. So we're gonna special summon Hero Kid. Once Hero Kid is special summoned, Hero Kid is gonna gain its ability to special summon two more Hero Kids directly from the deck. So we're gonna special summon two more Hero Kids, okay? And again, a huge shout out goes to uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Tube for showcasing us this combo, man. So check him out, guys, check him out. So now we're gonna overlay Hero Kid, Mannequin Cat. This card is six years late but it's still broken. I think this card is equally as broken as Summon Sorcerers. So now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna use Azold and Hero Kid. Send these two cards to the graveyard. Okay, we're gonna make Unicorn. So we're gonna take, uh, turn Unicorn into the Mermaid, uh, which is really good. Activate Mermaid's ability, so we can send a Strudel from a hand to the graveyard, which is really essential for the combo. So we're special Ibli now, uh, which is really good. And now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna link away Mermaid and also Ibli to the graveyard to make Lambda or any Link 2 generic monster with the arrows pointing down. So we're gonna make Lambda right here. Once uh, Ibli touches the graveyard, you can activate Ibli's ability to special summon her to your opponent's side of the field, which is really good. And this is when Mannequin Cat activates effect. If you guys don't know what Cat's ability is, that whenever a monster is special summoned to your opponent's side of the field, you special summon one monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard with the same title or attribute as that monster. Since uh, Ibli is a dark, we're gonna be able to special summon a dark monster from the graveyard, deck, or hand, which is absolutely broken. And Mannequin Cat does not have a restriction whatsoever. So that means that whatever monster you summon out off Mannequin Cat, you can still utilize their effects, which is ridiculous. So now we're gonna special summon Summoner Monk to our side of the field, uh, which is really, really good. And now what's gonna happen next is that we are gonna activate Divine Sword Phoenix Blade, match two warrior monsters from the graveyard, add Phoenix Blade to our hand, which is really good. And now what we're gonna do is that we are gonna activate Summoner Monk's ability to discard a spell, which is Divine Sword, from our hand to the graveyard, to special summon Rescue Ferret directly from the deck. So we're gonna special summon Rescue Ferret. So we're gonna make Zephyr Metatron. And the reason why you make Zephyr Metatron is because it has three arrows pointing down, so that way that you can use Rescue Ferret to its full potential, which is really good. So now we're gonna activate Rescue Ferret's ability, tribute itself, special summon three monsters from the deck. The monster you can special summon is Beast of the Pharaoh. We're also gonna special summon Global Bulb. And last but not least, we're also gonna special summon Doppel Warrior directly from our deck. So we're gonna special summon these three bad boys right here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do something very, very amazing. We are gonna make Axel Synchron. So we're gonna use uh, Summoner Monk and also Glow Bulb to make Axel Synchron. And the reason why you make Axel Synchron is because you wanna decrease his level and also at the same time send Jet Synchron to the graveyard. So we're gonna uh, send Jet Synchron to the graveyard, decrease this card's level by one. So we decrease his level by one, uh, which is really good. So now what we're gonna do next is that since we have a level four, level two and level three, four, three, two equals nine. It's quick maths right there. We're gonna make our first Trishula. So we're gonna make our first Trish. So now this is gonna be the first card that's out of your opponent's hand. So we're gonna activate Doppel Warrior's effect 
and also Bisa Pharaoh's effect and also Trishula's effect. So we're gonna make sure Trish is chaining one and the rest is just, you know, chaining two and chaining three. So that's some in Abyss of the Pharaoh right here, which is pretty nice. Trish is gonna uh, take a card out of your opponent's hand, uh, which is really good. We're gonna activate Divine Sword Phoenix Blade's ability. Banish self, banish two warrior monsters from the graveyard, add itself back to hand once again. And now what we're gonna do is that we are gonna activate Jet Synchron's ability. Okay, Jet Synchron's ability. Discard the Divine Sword Phoenix Blade, specimen Jet Synchron from your graveyard, which is really good. And now this is when the amazing things happen. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna make Ib. Ib is gonna skyrocket in price 100%. This format is the format of the Ibs, 100%. Ib is just so, so good. So we're so special. I mean, Ib, Royal Child, just a CR. Uh, you know, we're gonna trigger off Pharaoh and also trigger off Ib's effect. Ib chaining one and also Pharaoh chaining two to dodge hand traps, like I said before. We're gonna special summon Pharaoh right here to our side of the field, okay? And Ib is gonna get its ability to search the World Legacy uh, Succession directly from our deck to hand. So we're gonna search World Legacy Succession, which is really nice. So now what we're gonna do is that, so now what we're gonna do is that since we have Ib, the level one token, and also the, uh, the Beast of the Pharaoh, Ib is a synchro. Ib is a tuner. So we're gonna be able to make Trishula. Up Ib, the token, and also the Pharaoh. So we're gonna make our our second Trish, which means that we're gonna loop another card out of our opponent's hand, which is really, really good. So we're gonna activate Ib's effect, and also Pharaoh's effect, and also Trish's effect. So we're gonna in uh, Pharaoh from our graveyard. Ib is gonna be able to special World Legacy, World Chalice directly from the deck, which is really good. And the reason why you play this card is because it's level five, and you need the levels to make another Trish, uh, which is really good. So we're not gonna banish a card on the field, we're just gonna banish another card in your opponent's hand. So we already used two Trish, your opponent already lost two cards, and they're playing uh, Magic Bullets, okay? So now what's gonna happen next is that we are gonna activate uh, Globe Bob's ability in the graveyard, mill a card from our deck to the graveyard, especially Globe up, and then with level five, level three, and level one, you make another level nine Trish, which is really good. And so making the level nine Trish, awesome. So now we're gonna take another card out of our opponent's hand. So we're gonna activate Beast of the Pharaoh, and also Trish's ability right here. Okay, special Beast from the Pharaoh from the graveyard again. And this is really important because we have Dust Druid in the graveyard, so we make so we can make Power Tool Dragon with Dust Druid and also Beast of the Pharaoh, which is pretty nice. So now what's gonna happen is that we're gonna link away Metatron, and also Trish to make this sexy bad boy right here, Apollosa, the bow of the goddess. She's really good. She's two negates right now, which is really awesome. The potential to have four negates with her is just absolutely ridiculous. So now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna activate the Strudel's ability, target Beast of the Pharaoh, the Strudel and Beast of the Pharaoh to make Power Tool Dragon. So we're gonna make Power Tool Dragon. Once Power Tool Dragon comes out, you're gonna be able to activate Power Tool Dragon's ability to potentially search a DDR directly from our deck to your hand. So we're gonna activate uh, Power Tool Dragon's ability. So we're gonna reveal the DDR and also Living Fossil. If we had Living Fossil, it doesn't matter. We already had the DDR in our hand. If we had three DDRs in our deck, we we're gonna guarantee to get DDR to our hand anyways. And DDR is also essential for this combo. So what we're gonna do next is since we have World Legacy Succession in our hand, we're gonna activate World Legacy Succession. Okay, to Monster Reborn back the Globe Ball from our graveyard. And we searched the session of the Ibs, so we're always gonna have access to that Monster Reborn, uh, which is really good. And next, we're, next we're gonna make the Omega. Especially the Omega, uh, which is really nice. Uh, activate Omega's ability. Cool, to nuke another card of their opponent's hand. And now what's gonna happen is that for the last and final card, we're gonna activate uh, DDR. Okay, we can discard the Marauding Captain to special back the Omega from the Banish Zone. And then we can activate Omega's effect again Banish the last and final card on your opponent's hand, which is crazy. This is a one card combo, by the way, guys. One card combo. You know, this is what they're left off with. Uh, and then, just to put the icing on the cake, we can make VFD. So with this board, one card, five card hand loop, ending off with a VFD. Good luck. Good luck, Bellos. Good luck, Bello. Good luck, have fun. Have fun. Try beating this. They, it can't be this. You can't. This is this is unbeatable. And I can just go VFD. Cool. There you go. I'll call. I'll, I'll I'll call Earth. Whatever. And it's just pretty much over from here on in. It's it's done. It's done. There you go. Five card hand loop with a VFD and two negates. And again, a huge shout out goes to Yu-Gi-Oh! Two. I saw this video on his channel. Oh my goodness, guys. This 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 is crazy. Trish is at three. So let's take full advantage of it. Okay, guys. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. It'll be absolutely amazing. Let me know your thoughts about this hand loop in the comment section below. The dual video quality on this video is slightly a little bit slower than usual. And it's because obviously I don't have my equipment here in Los Angeles. I'm using my laptop. I'm using my laptop to record the duels. So if the video is a little bit, you know, slower, please don't mind that. Trust me guys, all you need is one, two card combos in this deck and you have the combo. As long as you get access to the zone, you pretty much just win the game and you'll have that five card hand loop 100%. 100%. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's your boy Sam from Team Sam. Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace. Ooh.
I feel like Usain in the cheetah print. Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute. R.I.P. the game, shh, I need a minute. Okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house, got to deep with it. These bozos always sneak this and they take a shots, I'm a key with it. Like, no, no, this league business.